back in the lobbies, and we are preparing to see a good match between Fountain Valley and Woodbridge. Um, this is going to be the third game with uh, Fountain Valley up 2-0, and uh, Woodbridge hanging on the edge of defeat here. Um, we're going to be able. We're going to see if Woodbridge is able to bring that back and uh, try try to start reclaiming their victory. Right, so um, they do have some substitutions on the side of Fountain Valley. They're, they have no play in, and they also have regards to you. All right, so again, means nothing to us right now because we don't know the, uh, we don't know the roster of these teams. But of course, if they're bringing them in now for a very crucial part of the match, they must be good, you know? And going into this, Looks like we're going to King's Row, all right. So they are gonna stick with the tried and true. Looks like um, they're probably gonna roll out, um, at least on one side, they're probably gonna roll out with goats. Cause um, as we know, goats works great with King's Row. Oh, absolutely. Uh, King's Row is just formatted very well for teams to take advantage of goats between the, the tight corridors that certain teams are forced through and uh, you know just the general map layout. Now, where do you think uh, the first hold is gonna be? What's your prediction? I mean, we did see um, the last time King's Row was chosen that there was a full hold just at the, the first choke. You know, so it's just uh, very possible to be a repeat. So this was Woodbridge's pick. So this may or may not be a gamble for them. Yeah, um, we'll see if they can, if they have the confidence to uh, take full advantage of this map and uh, try to hold off Fountain Valley. As it looks like Woodbridge is going to be starting out on the defensive. Looks like they do have a classic 3-3 three, three goats comp rolling out right now. Uh, let's see if they're able to assert their domination and basically just hold ground here. They really do not want Fountain Valley to make any sort of progress on this map whatsoever because this is their do or die. Yeah, uh, they, they really want as much of a lead as possible. They'll take whatever they can get though, uh, as I think they're going to be scrambling to try, to try to pull themselves back up and back into the game. Um, are gonna see some some Reinhardt, double Reinhardt, you know, L Classic. Uh, first choke is looking like it's gonna be hold. Or maybe All right. not. Alright, looks like regards to you is switching back to the Widow after a brief moment on the McCree. So it looks like they are gonna run with something a little bit more punching power to try to get through this point. Ooh, it looks like Fountain Valley is just diving right into Woodbridge, pushing them all the way back up the point. And uh, pick starts coming out for, for Woodbridge as they get rid of Trickster. Tank down. Uh, and support down for Fountain Valley, that's really huge. That means that Fountain Valley no longer has any offensive power. They can't sustain their push anymore, so they're going to be forced to back off. It looks like uh, Woodbridge was actually giving a little bit of ground to Fountain Valley because of uh, regards to you. So they respected that Widow threat, backed off, and then retook ground. There's a nice pick from Sync there as he gets rid of regards to you. Uh, being down five is going to be more difficult for, for Fountain Valley to try to make their offensive here. Yeah, so um, basically, regards to you was trying to be sneaky and stay back in the back lines to get some shot behind the Rhine Shield, but um, basically, Zappa said no. Just nope, just Xing him out right there. And it looks like Found Valley pushing in once again. Gonna see if they can get anything here. Missed sleep from Anna. It looks like teams are just at a standstill. Huge block. Oh, never mind. He got like two people. And it looks like Woodbridge is gonna be able to pick up a lot of kills here as four go down on Found Valley's side. Uh, five. And it looks like. Almost a team kill. Can't quite pick up regards to you, unless they're going to chase him down. They will right here. That's a that's a team wipe for for Woodbridge as they're able to hold this first point. Yep. So it looks like um, Woodbridge is actually really going on the offensive now. They're trying to deny Found Valley as much as they can. You know, so we'll see if this will hold because there are ultimates online right now. Both sides have war chests building up. Yeah, we'll see if we have the grab coming out from uh, from Fady here. Um, Mountain Valley making their way on the point. Both grabs coming out from both teams. Diva ult coming out as well. Manages to get nothing as both teams are at a standstill. Hammer down. Only manages to hit two people on Fountain Valley's side as uh, we start trading tanks for both teams. Um, Fountain Valley is getting pushed back. Huge anti-nade as there's nothing Fountain Valley can do about that. They're pushed all the way back to their base and it looks like they're going to be just completely cleaned up. Looks like Zappos has no trouble with dealing with the nerfed Shield bash, five damage. I can work with that. You know, just a little smack afterwards, and Zarya is gone. Oh, I mean, yeah. okay, again, like Woodbridge just loses Nero so early on in the fight, but it looks like Fountain Valley doesn't press the advantage, you know, of their lack of shield tank, and they just let them get put themselves get pushed back. It's interesting. Yeah, it's 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 very interesting to see how both teams they just crash into each other, and then it seems like Woodbridge just manages to claw their way out on top. 
Now it seems like another huge skirmish here. We get uh, a Nano coming out on a, on a uh, Nero here. We'll see if he can make anything from that, but uh, Trans coming out on Found Valley side. Uh, he slept, going down, but still no picks from either team. Uh, Shatter coming up. It's out there. But huge Shatter. Oh my god. Huge team wipe for Woodbridge. Combination Shatter. Diva ult. Amazing play. Absolutely well done. Wow. All right, so it looks like both sides now only have Gravitons in their pocket for this next team fight. But, um, man, Woodbridge is doing really well. They're actually actively being able to deny Found Valley and just absolutely hold this point. Yeah, just so what, what an amazing uh, Earth Shatter, though, from Nero, though. He was able to catch absolutely. the entire Found Valley team there. Oh, Grav coming out from, from, from Woodbridge. They're going to see if they can get anything. Counter Grav coming out also. But we do have a Dragon Strike, it looks like. And uh, Found Valley is going to start picking up some kills, but they trade back and forth again. Um, Found Valley up kills. They've got Trickster out with the... He gets his Earth Shatter canceled, actually, by Zepsis. Fantastic uh, a shield bash there. And it looks like Found Valley is going to be able to come strong onto this point here. Uh, All right. It looks like they were they were just about to be able to stall this objective full hold for Found Valley. But Found Valley, last minute, was able to take it. Yep, they, they just barely managed to find the energy to get on that. And now they're looking to push Woodbridge back and make some space so that they can move the payload up. Absolutely. So that is Trickster and Zulanu doing some work right there, trying to hold uh, Woodbridge further up to let themselves get basically free progress. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's a really common strategy. You see that a lot in teams, just making space for your team. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's uh, working out pretty well for them as they're going to be able to get past one of the harder chokes here. Yeah. Uh, teams are starting to meet. Um, we, we do, we're do. we starting to see some fights. Nero, he's going to be taking the half HP. He gets nanoed. Oh, looking for the shatter, but it's going to be... Uh, Trickster might block that there. Um, nothing really... Ooh, <laughs> huge shatter! I spoke way too soon as... Oh, Woodbridge just completely cleans up Fountain Valley once again. Doesn't look like there's anything they can do as their entire team is just completely decimated by Woodbridge. Patience is a virtue, all right? The patient mind gets the shatter. I was I was really looking for something with that nano, and he kept holding his shield. He was looking for the earth shatter, and he finally found it. So that's the exchange. Um, even though he was about to lose nano, or like basically nano was going to be in, um, basically wasted in a sense there, he waited until it was actually opportune for him to lose shatter, and they confirmed the team's kill. Absolutely well played. I, I'll, I'll definitely say so. Oh, we got Grav coming out from from uh, Woodbridge here. They're able to catch the majority of Found Valley, and it looks like uh, Found Valley is able to take some retaliation kills though, as they take two. Um, complete chaos once again, as Found Valley seems to be coming out on top here. That's five five kills total for them, and they're going to be cleaning up Woodbridge. Still looking to push that card all the way in. Um, looks like they're able to just push them off. Yeah, but looks like Woodbridge is doing the smart move, backing off, regrouping, and then going in for another engagement. Because, um, basically, Found Valley hasn't been able to push them all the way to the point yet. So they're taking a good point. Ooh, grab coming out, and we got the Dragon Strike to combo with it on the side of Woodbridge. Wow, three kills from that ult combo. Huge. Another kill from Trickster with a nice pin, and it looks like... Fountain Valley is just going to be completely pushing back. Woodbridge again, able to maintain their offensive advantage, and that's a clean team wipe for them. Yep. Wow, okay, so they that was a classic Zarya Dragon combo. That's been around like since uh, Season 1, huh? Really well executed, and just... You know, you don't see a lot of that now with the uh, triple tank running around a lot, but it's very effective. You know, you just chew through all of that... It's just so much damage. All right, we're starting to see another team fight here. Uh, a grab coming out from Woodbridge, and we got the Diva ult as well. Um, they're going to be able to pick up three kills, and it looks like another, a few more are going to follow pretty quickly as they take down Zulanu, both tanks. Kiddo seems to to uh, deny himself there, denying the ult charge. Very smart. Um, and uh, Found Valley can no longer maintain their offensive here. Okay, so it looks like Woodbridge saw that combo and said, alright, nice combo, here's ours, you know, and proceeded to wipe out Valley. So this is actually a very close match. Yeah, it was, a, it was a nice trade from both sides. Uh, Found Valley once again looking to push in. Uh, Trickster being pretty aggressive. Go, shield going down. Another huge shatter. Both sides landed huge shatters. At least two members apiece. And it looks like another chaotic fight. Um, uh, Woodbridge manages to get a kill, but Found Valley retaliates with three in return. They're going to be able to have a huge advantage at this point, and, and Woodbridge is going to completely push back all the way to their base. Um, they're 
They're looking to make a stand with three members here, but there's not much they can do against the combined mind of uh, five of Fountain Valley. Oh, a pin from uh, from Nero, but it doesn't find anything as he's immediately taken down. Uh, Fountain Valley's gravity is looking like it will secure the, the push for them as uh, they're able to um, start cleaning up Woodbridge all the way off the point. Clean team kill leads to a clean W. That was Pass so into close, the though. Iris. Just a little bit more, and basically it would have gone into overtime, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I was a, uh, you know, it, it actually was overtime oh, at the very end there. Overtime. Okay. And uh, so they they finished pushing it at overtime, you know. But uh, what uh, what Woodbridge wanted there was actually to take the fight during overtime, so that way they would force um, Found Valley to stay on cart, you know. So that way they would be basically not they wouldn't be able to take opportune angles and stuff like that, or like you know, um, take stay on further ends of that that last point, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, didn't didn't pan out. So let's see if Woodbridge will be able to take um, the full map as well. You know, and that way we'll just switch again. Yep, yep. Um, Fountain Valley did get stalled out uh, after the second payload point there. Um, I don't know if Woodbridge is going to have similar problems. Um, uh, I think that if they can manage to get this first point, they might be able to see some success. But I think it's more likely that Fountain Valley just completely full holds them at this first one. Okay, interesting. Again, never cast while they're still in spawn. But it looks like both sides might be opting to do a 2-2-2 two, two, two comp, you know? So yep. basic, you know, basic balance comp. Um, okay, so we can talk about Found Valley. So Found Valley, they're going to go for that um, that shield break from... From Junkrat. Wow, okay. Okay, so they're gonna do long range denial with the Widow with Shield Break from the Junkrat. Alright, so it looks like they're going to try to do a kind of, you know, um, more like bunker defense type of situation with the. Uh, with the Ooh, Ooh! Nice pick. Wow, hats off to regards to you. Absolutely killer with that headshot. Oh man, that was a nasty headshot. That's exactly why we're picking Widowmaker in this situation. Isn't that right, Found Valley? Yeah. So yeah, they are doing this bunker comp all up on the high ground with Orisa. They have regards to you to um, basically pressure Woodbridge and not allow them access to the point. Yeah, and uh, Woodbridge here is going to have no choice but to take this flank route and try to contest the high ground. But uh, it looks like they're just going to be completely stalled out by the Junkrat. Uh, Three shots from regards to you. He's just got such a clean line of sight. We got some picks coming out for Zulano here as Woodbridge's members start to come down. Um, it looks like uh, regards to you is going to get picked up by Zapsis. He gets his revenge, and uh, uh, Woodbridge is starting to make their make their push, but they get completely shut down by by Fountain Valley as they manage to find four picks. Uh, what a great hold from them, able to uh, completely just shut down Woodbridge right there. But now that Woodbridge know what they're up against, you know they're they're going to be coming out with a dive comp now. Yeah, and it looks like uh, they're trying the Widowmaker too. Maybe get try to find a few more picks before they Widowmaker battle. they assault the the dreaded bunker from Fountain Valley. Right, but you you really don't want to. Oh, right. Oh, okay, they're just going we got, oh, so we got Winston it. and Genji they're diving right in there right for, for Woodbridge, and it looks like he's going to be training on his supports. The the anti nade is going to secure that kill there for Zapsis. Um, Fountain Valley is retaliating on the point though. They're going to demech Fady, and uh, it looks like they're going to be uh, slightly backing off, except for for Sync. He's out of position there. Fountain Valley continuing to press their advantage here. We got the Junkrat ult coming out. That manages to pick up Nursey. And uh, Woodbridge doesn't have much left to contest this. Diva Bomb picks up two more kills there. And that's a that's pretty much a full wipe for Fountain Valley. Yes, There's but now Fountain Valley no longer has any ultimates in their war chest. So this, this upcoming... Actually, not Fountain Valley, my bad. Um, Woodridge no longer has any ultimates in their war chest except for um, Widow's Sights. So they're going to be at a disadvantage coming into basically a, um, boosted, uh, a boosted Widow on the side of Fountain Valley. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to deal with for them. We got Winston diving in once again on the side of Woodbridge. Diva also comboing that dive. Doesn't seem like they're able to find anything though as we, we we're seeing the, the Widow duel coming out. But, uh,. Nero's still trying to uh, wreak havoc in the back line. We got uh, him with Primal Rage, combination with Fady, trying to dive the supports. They're going to be able to pick up Mercy. And Woodbridge is popping off with uh, five picks. That's huge for them. It looks like they're going to be able to take this point after a fantastic dive by, by Nero and Fady. Certainly, they are dividing and conquering. Okay, so the original meaning of divide and conquer was that you divide your enemy's forces so that they are easier to conquer. It's not actually the whole um, kind of 
like, 60 seconds. dividing up tasks and try to, like, multitask, you know, with your team members and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, Woodbridge making use of that and just absolutely splitting up the team from the high ground and making, just picking them apart. Yeah, now the, now the uh, Winston and, uh, and the Diva pick, that worked out fantastic for the dive there, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it looks like dive was the right call for Woodbridge to go on this map, even though it looked like they were trying to do um, goats originally. You know, then they pulled out the two two, and then they out the two two two, and then now they're doing dive, you know, which is really exciting to see in the arrow goats. Yeah, and uh, they got a nice pick on the Nero there, but the junk red ult getting denied. Unfortunate, as it seems like Woodbridge is kind of st getting stalled out at this no choke here. Ooh, Nanoblade coming out, huge pick for on regards to you, and he's gonna be trying to go in, but the trance just denies denies any damage he could possibly get out. He's anti, so he's gonna be going down as a fantastic defense from Fountain Valley with the Zen ult and uh, and the anti on that on the the Nanoblade combo there. But it does get um, Woodbridge some space, so they are pushing their advantage. Yep, yeah, it seems like they were able to get uh, the space that they needed. They made it past the choke point, and now it seems like things are going to be pretty downhill from them. For yep, they're turning the corner now. They're coming into second point. Let's see if they can cap it. Um, no, nothing oh, yet. Oh, goodness. but we do, we do have a uh, 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 Junkrat you know getting caught out on for, for Fountain Valley. Uh, uh, grabs coming out for both teams and and Nanos. This is a huge fight. Um, Whippers coming out on top of two picks so far. Uh, with the Anagon, that's a lot of healing down. Um, Zaps is also coming down on the side of a uh, on. Woodbridge though, and uh, they're just continuing to, to pick up more kills, trying to push their advantage. Uh, picking up Zulanu there, and uh, and, and finally, uh, Fountain Valley's uh, no play. Uh, looks like they're going to be able to cap this point here. And they yeah. finally finish him off. <laughs> I mean, that could have been disastrous if Kiddo had his... Uh his tire in the back line there because basically he wouldn't have to worry about anyone seeing the tire going coming towards them and he yeah. could have wiped out the entire team if he wanted to. Yeah, with everybody grouped up in his Zarya ult like that, that would have been absolutely destructive. But Tri now it looks like Woodridge has their um, their war chest pretty full. Cool. Yeah, oh, oh huge ult from Nero. Lots of lots of knockdowns, but uh, the trance coming out from no play, able to save a lot of members. He's gonna get nanoed, still swinging, knocked down by the uh, Found Valley's own Earth Shatter as a uh, Trickster looks to retaliate on that, and uh, fantastic job from them. Uh, huge Earth Shatters coming out from both Reinhardts as uh, as the full the fight starts to wind down now, and both teams uh, begin to reset. I was gonna say I was looking for that combo on the side of Woodrow, but um, it didn't like they executed it really well, but it looks like there wasn't enough follow. Oh, we'll huge grab from Woodbridge catching a lot of members. The anti nades is gonna die on any healing as. Fountain Valley gets completely wiped out. It looks like the only members left alive are the supports as they desperately try to keep each other alive. Um, and they're just going to be swiftly taken down. Uh, oh no. Absolutely no hope from them as Fady picking up two kills. Mm -hmm. Val uh, Woodbridge able to push the cart in uh, unless Fountain Valley is able to trickle out and contest right now. I mean, Woodbridge has a minute 45 to, con to confirm this last point. They can take their time. Ooh, uh, grab to try to deny it. Comboed with the Hanzo ult again. Absolutely massive as uh, Fountain Valley picks up a bunch of kills there. Uh, completely destroying Woodbridge. And they're going to be able to actually hold that point, surprisingly. What a fantastic defense. But remember, Woodbridge still has time on the clock. So right now, they're going to be playing into a transcendence pot, possibly. But there are no offensive ultimates to ward them off. So they just need to weather the transcendence and basically make their push. That's absolutely right. They're left with a lot of time to try to defend, and it looks like Woodbridge is going to get one or two more pushes here, depending on how they play this. Based on how these team fights are getting drawn out, though, I'm thinking that they have one push left. One push? You're probably right. Uh, oh, huge Earth Shatter, and he's Nano 2 to go with it. But the Trance is coming out again from no play. He's always on top of that Trance, defending his team from the Shatters, and uh, Trickster's hoping to retaliate right there. Um, doesn't seem to find anything. Found Valley actually picking up kills on Woodbridge, and, and Woodbridge is forced to retreat here. Nero getting taken down, and there's no hope left for, for Woodbridge in, the, in that push. Uh, only 37 seconds left on that clock. They're going to really have to make the most of that. All right, we have uh, Zappos on the on the McCree. Like Ooh, taken down by Fire Strike. That's, uh, that's not looking good for Woodbridge right here. But the grab coming out does catch a lot of members. Not able to make anything from that. And, uh, and, and Woodbridge desperately trying to see what they can make. Found Valley's grab coming out. Combo with the Hanzo again. Oh man, they're just absolutely destroying Woodbridge with that deadly combo. And it looks like this is the end for Woodbridge. They're not going to be able to get back to the point in time and contest. Oh no! Oh man. Absolutely disastrous.
Master is asleep on the McCree as he tries to sneak past to contest. Very, very unfortunate. Woodbridge, they almost had it. This close. This close. But, uh... They, they had the advantage right at the end. You know, they just they just needed to take their time, bait out that transcendence, and then go in with the with the combo of uh, Earth, Earth Shatter and you know, yeah, and they they just pressed the, the objective a little too soon. You know, gave, you know they just got a little too greedy, and it's just unfortunate because they had the advantage there. There were no offensive ults to be had on the side of Found Valley. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, and that uh that play of the game we just watched. That's really what won Fountain Valley the game on the spot right there. That amazing team wipe with the, the Hanzo ult combo again um, really just sealed the deal, put Fountain Valley ahead, and uh, Woodbridge just wasn't able to recover from that, unfortunately. I think they went into that last team fight a little too confident. Like, you know, like they thought that maybe they had it in the bag. You know, so that's why they were a little eager and they really wanted to start that fight early on. They should have really tried to wait, bait out that transcendence, and then afterwards there would have been nothing for Fountain Valley to play with, you know? They could actually then just wipe the, their team because they had Graviton, they had Earth Shatter, they had Nano Boost. They had all the cards in their hand to make that work. So, so what was the play then there to, to bait out the trance? What do you think? Just take their time, you know, like do a lot of damage and then what? Then put that pressure on that Zenyatta and then, you know, once he feels that, he's going to pop his ult to mm -hmm. try to keep everyone alive. So maybe they should have, uh, you know, tried to dive Zen more maybe? Okay, yeah, but um, wrapping up now, that is going to be a win for Fountain Valley and they will be moving on to the finals to go against Troy High School. Yep, very exciting finals. We have two extremely competitive teams, both with fantastic showings today. Uh, 3-0 sweeps for both of our finals competitors and... Uh, it looks like we're going to have a very, very exciting final set for you guys. So, um, yeah, uh, both teams, Woodbridge and Fountain Valley, just played fantastically in this set. Um, props to both of them, and uh, congratulations to Fountain Valley for, for moving on. And uh, we're going to be throwing it back to the analyst desk here. Um, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, over to Mohegan. Thank you so much, Ultrabox. That was an amazing game played between Fountain Valley and uh, Westbridge. It was very incredible, lots of action there. Yeah, so it was a 3-0 for Fountain Valley, but obviously, as we can saw from watching the game, the scoreline does not tell the whole story. It was actually really close at some parts. So let's start from the top and talk about like Li Zhang Tower. So they won 2-1, and so how exactly did they manage to get that win? Well, like you were saying, it, it definitely was not uh, an easy victory for Fountain Valley, even though the scoreline was 3-0. Uh, starting at uh, uh, Li Zhang Garden we started on, kind of like we were thinking, we, uh, we saw some really interesting compositions from both teams. We saw Winston and D.Va, but with like different DPS uh, pairs uh, on both sides. And I, on this map, I just got to talk about David's McCree just absolutely popping off, and it really helped uh, Fountain Valley secure the win on the first map. But then we went to Control Center, and kind of like we were talking about beforehand, Woodbridge's GOATS comp is just insane. So they went 0 to 100 on Garden, but then 100 to 0 on Control Center. So it came down uh, to, to Night Market. And that was back and forth again. We saw really flexible team compositions from both sides. And Fountain Valley just came out on top with uh, superior flexibility and, uh, and coordination and everything. So then we went to, uh, uh, to Route 66, uh, which was, uh, again, a really close game uh, on both sides. Uh, Fountain Valley just barely finished the map, and, uh, and Woodbridge got pretty close at the end. On uh, this map, I want to talk about Woodbridge's comp composition on attack because they've clearly either been watching Jane or some Pacific contenders because they came out <laughs> with the quad DPS totally like split squad comp and it was it was insane. But they they actually succeeded in running it against Fountain Valley's uh, uh, more tank heavy lineup on first point. Uh, because the goal of that composition is to just like create so many different crossfires and everything that that just the the tanks just can't face themselves in every direction uh, and it worked but then on second point they had to switch to more of a dive focus uh, more structured team composition but they still were able to uh, push through second it was only on the third point where Fountain Valley like really held them uh, with their tank heavy compositions of course third point on route 66 favors those really tightly knit compositions because of the way it's structured and so Fountain Valley uh, took that map as well but again it was not it was not uh, a very easy overwhelming victory it was a close map uh, and then we went to King's Row, 
uh, a classic, uh, very tank-heavy game uh, or, or map for uh, for most teams that like to favorite. And yeah, Found Valley just came out on top with uh, with uh, with their tank-heavy composition, team coordination. The grav strike, the graviton surge, dragon strike combos uh, were on point from uh, from Kiddo. Uh, yeah, great series all around. All right, thanks so much on that uh, analysis on the match. So we're going to be uh, in one second. We're going to have one of the players from Fountain Valley come up right now. His name is uh, Skyler. Should be coming around soon, uh, as I was told. There you go. Oh, here he comes. He's right now. All right, thank you for joining us, Skylar. Congrats on your win. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations against Woodbridge High School. So, can you talk about a bit like the preparation going into this game? How are you feeling? How did you prepare to go against Woodbridge? So, with a map like Lee Jung Tower, we just we thought about a lot of things, a lot of different variables that can happen, and. We base up our team comp around like what the map can, what's what's the better advantages of the comp on the map, and to counter what to counter the enemy team if they swap onto X or Y. Yeah. Yeah. So we did talk um, analyst us like how the different compositions that you guys chose came into play. You guys played a lot of different maps, and there. They obviously had different strengths and weaknesses to each composition, so it was really cool that you guys were able to flex into different compositions like that. So, you did sub out um, David for... Um, uh, for regards to you, I think. Regards to you, yes, thank you. So, what was the decision making behind that? So, basically, regards to you is Stronger Widow, and we had him... We had David play in Lee Jung Tower because he's a better McCree in general. So, so for Lee Jung Tower, it's more of a close range. Like on Gardens, it's more like close. So we we played McCree. That's how I got like the five K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then with Porter, we swapped him in on King's Row because it's more of a wide open map. So it's better with Widow. So that's yeah. That's why we swapped. Um, we eventually swapped Porter in for David. So you will be going against um, Troy High School in the finals. How are you feeling? Are you guys like? Do you feel prepared to go against them? Yeah, we're we're nervous and excited at the same time. Like we haven't scrimmed them either, so like we don't know what we're up against. But we're pretty confident that we could we could take the win. That's good. Were you expecting to go against Troy High School? Um, honestly, we didn't really predict anything because like we didn't really know. The strengths and weaknesses of each team so we sort of just were like you know <laughs> we'll see who we get and we'll play against them the best we can you right. guys did a really good job so. thank you yeah uh, fantastic job guys I'm really looking forward to your match against Troy and I'm really expecting to see some very great stuff out of you guys uh, thanks for joining us on the uh, desk and also uh, con once again congrats on your win thank uh, you uh, we're going to be now going to a small break while we wait for the third place match.